Hi. I'm looking forward to, to this. <laughs> we are too. It's Is it just <laughs> us. Are there other people coming? Um, yeah, it just started technically at four o'clock. So we want to just give a little bit of time for everybody to get in the room. Um, I think maybe some people might be watching the recording later because because I'll tell you right now, if people are driving anywhere, the traffic is crazy. So I I had traffic difficulties as well. So I understand. And I have my little assistant here. Kinsley's helping out. Nice. You both have these nice kitchens. Look at these two kitchens. Wow. <laughs> That's why I came over here. It's a nice kitchen. Do you want to wear your other hat? No, you're so no. <laughs> either have is fine with me, Kinsley. Oh, we've got Torrance Williams is here. We got some people coming in. Yay, missions. Oh, I don't know how to do anything. I'm like, I need my left hand. There we go. Got Kinsley, some more when people. more people come, can you click there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because my right arm I can't reach very well. Oh yeah, we got more people. Awesome. It'll pop up. You'll hear the little <laughs> While we are waiting, can anyone put in the chat if you will be uh, baking along with, with the two of us? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that way if we need to. That way we can, we can kind of help you guys prep and do some things. Let us know if you guys are baking along. And if you have any, any questions, right, or in need any substitutions, um for anything that we're doing for any of the ingredients definitely let me know you just uh, I, I did send the recipe kind of the same way my my grandmother sent to me she's like you don't diet and exercise during the holidays so you don't <laughs> cut so you don't cut back she's like he, that waits for after that so. is right <laughs> i have a question Yes. Can we have Kirsten's address so we can go eat all of this right now? <laughs> and and it's yours too, <laughs> We're going to have a big bowl of fluff here. So yeah. I you know, you awesome. live like five minutes away from my mother-in-law. Really? Yeah. On one street, I turn right to come to your place to go to her place. I just turn left. I was like, it's like down, just down the way, the other direction. Oh, so Right by LAX. Yeah, plane came down. I was like, I couldn't live over here. <laughs> this plane is too close. <laughs> so we're just going to give everybody a little more time. Is that okay, Dennis? Are you good with that? I'm good. Cool. I'm good. Just want to make sure. Oh, careful. All the um, <laughs> people have time to check in, or maybe they're gathering all their supplies, trying to find that teaspoon or measuring cup. Because right. I know I was doing that earlier. I was like, where are my teaspoons? To me? Oh, thank you, Diana. Oh, there's Estella. I need some Oh, she got in. Okay, there. Hi, Estella. Oh, you did on there? Oh, I don't know. That's crazy. Maybe Dennis has access to it because he's a host. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It, it pops up. I, I'm clicking admit to Oh, thank you. I'm like, I can't reach with this arm. <laughs> Well, so we've got it's a, it's 404. One okay. more minute. Yeah. All right. So just give it another minute. And feel free, like um Dennis said, if you have any questions, just type it in the chat. Or unmute yourselves. Mm -hmm. Um while we have, while we're starting, if you are going to be baking for the winter break and you have any questions about a recipe that you can bounce off of us or something you really want to try or maybe you want us to send you something right that's no fail right i usually do like cheesecakes and things like that for us so anything like that then just feel free to to unmute yourselves and and definitely yeah and i do a multitude of things i make i'm really into making cupcakes uh, so I do lots of decorated cupcakes that are fun and and easy because I don't have time for all this sometimes. 
Oh, and I've, I've tried those. Get out of the I've way. tried those cupcakes, and they're really, really good. Thank you. Thank you so much, Diana. I was going to say, and I don't cook at all. <laughs> so you are in good company if you have zero skill. <laughs> I've tried those cupcakes too, and I agree. They're delicious. Well, thank you, Janet. Thank you. So, um, you know, I may not know the answer, but I think between Dennis and myself, we could figure out if you have any questions about pretty much anything, baking or cooking or sweets or savories or whatever. So definitely sweets. Are you having fun there, Kinsley? Kinsley, do you want to introduce yourself to those folks who may not know you? For sure, everybody knows me, but okay. <laughs> um, my name is Kinsley Spencer and I am Kirsten Elliott, Dr. Kirsten Elliott. Um, daughter. The daughter, <laughs> I'm the daughter. And I am 10 years old and I am in fourth grade. And you like to cook. Yeah, I like to cook. You want to say what you cook for your birthday? <gasps> what I cook for my birthday was cake pops. And how many? Uh, we cooked, we made uh -huh. like 200, 200. 200 cake pops. <laughs> Wow. That was intense. Wow. That is a lot of cake pops. I was not involved at all. <laughs> <laughs> was that a grandma Kinsley project? Yeah. Yeah. I feel auntie. Nah. Yep. That's, That's a, a cake mixture. Baby cakes up there. Oh, baby cakes. Mm -hmm. Yummy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very cool. We kind of did them wrong. So. Yeah. They still taste. Do they taste okay? Yeah. That's all that matters. Always baby cakes. <laughs> Oh, yeah, do you want so I got some few, some text messages regarding any social media. So I did just drop. Most of you have it. I know most of you have, have placed orders or have had some of the treats, but I dropped it the link to the Instagram in oh. the chat. Hold on a sec. Oh, I hey, didn't Max. Do you have a baking page, Andrew? I do not. Can you turn it back this way, sweetie? Oh, you need one. You need one. I, I just have on my Facebook like a an album of all my stuff that I make. So totally one just of these days I'll have to do that. Yeah, totally just do a page. Just 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 make it. Then I'll have four Instagrams because I have yeah. one for me. I have one for my dog. <laughs> <laughs> I have one that's about teaching. And then I'll have to have one about baking and have all my yeah, all my baking or uh cooking and stuff. So I'll I'll make one and I'll I'll Send it to somebody. Let me know. Do you want to tell them where they get the ingredients from? Or maybe they already know that is. Mm. Oh, the happiness page. You think 410 oh. is a good time to start? 410? Yeah. yeah. Okay. If anybody doesn't know where the ingredients are, you can go to the, um, what is the holiday happiness uh, webpage on the SNC website. And it has lists of all the ingredients. And I think like utensils that you'll need. Like I put that you need like cups and a mixer and things like that. So. I was very detailed. <laughs> like snow. It is like snow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Only tastier. So just give one more minute. I think we'll be ready to start. Is there anybody else? And we're going to start with Dennis because his is, is has to go in the oven. So if you're making the spice cake, that's where we're starting. And Janet, I'm really surprised you're not making it with us in your office. Come on. Is there a whole <laughs> kitchen behind you? Oops, wait a minute. You guys should be really happy. I had to clean my kitchen today. <laughs> right? Yeah, I got very lucky. <laughs> there's like mixing cups and, and things like everywhere. So the kitchen is actually really clean today. Yay. <laughs> I'm home. That's the first thing I, we were trying to originally do this on campus, guys, right? In an old campus kitchen, but then that had some work going on with the freezer for the bodega. So then we tried, we thought we were going to do it in the SSC kitchen, then the lighting was terrible in there. So we, we ended up doing this, but eventually we should be yeah. able to do it on campus and set some things up and have some little toaster ovens and things like that so everyone could try and be a little that bit more. That would be amazing. Amazing. That would be great. Yeah. So that that's that's the ultimate goal. All right. So whenever you're ready, Mr. Biddle of our Biddle um, advice. Okay. So I mean, I no, I don't think anyone in here is is really baking, but I'm still going to walk you guys through each of the steps. 
um, that we're going to do. And then I chose to do the pumpkin spice pound cake because um, it's one of the favorites for my house. However, um, typically when my grandmother does her pound cake, she would look around the house, right? And if she had a lemon, then it was lemon, right? She'd take the lemon zest, some lemon juice, and that's what it was. If she had an orange, it'd be that, or whatever it was that she could find to really flavor it. Sometimes we just wanted to be in a traditional um, vanilla pound cake. Um, but for today, we are definitely going to do the pumpkin spice one because it's pumpkin season. Um, and we start off with our cake flour, swan's down cake flour. We have a cup of regular flour, a cup of sugar of choice. We have eight ounces of pumpkin puree. Uh, oh, let me admit Sharon. You got it? Okay. We have eight ounces of the pumpkin puree, eight ounces of the cream cheese, and then eight ounces of your milk of choice. So, and then this is what it will, you guys will pretty much wind up with, I did it some pretty decorations, but as long as you pound cake, you can choose to do powdered sugar, a simple glaze, which is just powdered sugar in your milk of choice works very well too. Um, but this is pretty much what you'll end up with. I'll try to get it a little closer. There you go. So it should be really bouncy, right? Nice crust on the outside, but really, really soft on the inside. And one of the biggest things that I learned when doing a pound cake, is you put your pound cake in the oven with it off. You do not preheat your oven for a pound cake. That's how you get that really, really nice flaky um, and kind of crunchy on the outside, but really, really soft and creamy on the inside. So you do not have to put it in the preheat your oven at all. You can pop it in there on the center rack and then turn it on to 350 and let it and let it go. Okay. So I'm going to do it by hand. Typically, I use one of these kitchen aids that I have, but I'm going to do it by hand. The way my grandmother made us do it when we were kids, since we were quote unquote getting on her nerves in the kitchen, she made us work. Um, so that's what we're going to do. I have the all the cake flour in here already. I tend to do all of my dry ingredients first. I know some people prefer wet ingredients, but I do all of my dry ingredients first because it's all about the texture for me. Um, so I'm going to go in with the eight ounces of, and then I'm going to also go in with the sugar. And you guys can do this for stevia. You can use agave syrup. You can use coconut sugar. I mean, you can use equal. It just, like I said, if you guys can unmute yourselves, if you have any questions about any steps and um, any substitutions that you can think of, you can use almond milk, soy milk, you know, regular, it, it, it just depends. It's all on you guys. That's really basic, but it's it's all, once it's all well incorporated, then I tend to go in with my dry ingredients, I mean, my wet ingredients. So the first thing I start off with is the eight ounces of milk. Get all of that in there. Then I go in with the three eggs. And for those of you, um, I have a bunch of egg substitutions. You can do chia seeds in hot water. Um, you can do just egg. Um, yeah, there's plenty of substitutions and I promise you it will be just as great. And Dennis, can you substitute stevia for sugar? You can. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Like, well, I, and I don't. I'm not doing it because I don't like it. Like brown sugar with the um, pumpkin spice pound cake, just because she. That's just how she loved it. She pretended like she was making a pumpkin pie. So, and that will go. That's what goes in her pumpkin pie. So she would do that. But you can do any combination or any mix. Um, other sugars or sweeteners um, as you as you like. And for those of you who who can't have it, like I sometimes do um, a diabetic friendly pound cake where we would use the sugar-free dry pudding mix, right? Any flavor, be it pineapple, be it lemon, and that would flavor your cake. And that is that is the appropriate amount of sweetness to that, to that cake. I'm gonna start to mix here. Any other questions? 
I'm gonna challenge you guys, Estella and Paige. I have a question. Sharon. Are you gonna bring this tomorrow to work? <laughs> I will, but it's gonna it's gonna be far from your office. Ah, oh, <laughs> I'm going to challenge uh, you guys, though, Sharon, Paige, Estella, Diana, to 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 make it to try it. And I'm sure all of you guys here are are probably bakers. But and and it's so weird. Every time I say this, people look at me like, Dennis, how does how is that? How does that bring peace? Um, it, it's actually baking teaches patience, right? It's taught me a lot of patience. It's the one thing you can't rush no matter how. <laughs> I, I sometimes have orders and, and they fail, right? They, they, they fail. I will tell you the story about the very first wedding cake that I did that made me cry. And that's because I rushed it, right? You can't rush baking. <laughs> you can't. You're bound to miss something or forget something. Um, and so I had this four-tier wedding cake that I was doing. And I was hard-headed, right? Grandmother was like, you're supposed to bake the cake the day before, chill the cakes, work with chilled cakes. I did not chill the cakes. Bake them, chill them in the bake them, tried to stack them, and the entire cake collapsed. It's like three hours before the wedding, entire cake just collapsed on me. So I was very fortunate that day though, because my grandmother at that time, she had made all the other cake layers for me, like backup cake layers and had them in the freezer. And so she taught me a really, really, really big lesson that day, not to rush baking. So that's the one thing I'll tell you uh, that once you can get over that part, you can do, you, you can bake. There's the, once you, it takes a lot of prep, right? it's just like everything we do at work, right? It takes a lot of prep. <laughs> you you may get frustrated right in the middle, but you have to keep going all the way through to the end, but you can do it. Once you get everything set up and laid out, and it, it, it's just going to flow kind of like all of our departments, right? Once we get it all together, do I sleep sometimes? <laughs> Sometimes, um, yeah, I, I've actually been slowing down, but sometimes I sleep, you know, sometimes I sleep. I do do like full wedding planning and coordinating. So that tends to take some of my time, but I only do five weddings a year. You're probably like only five weddings, but but only five like full weddings, right? Where I'm full planning and coordinating just five. Other than that, I, mean, I do all other big parties, but just five. Um, but this right here is, is something that I, I do. I would never do this full time because I enjoy being able to say no. I don't say it at work <laughs> at all, right? Whenever I get calls, but to this, hey, Dennis, can you do a cake? No. Hey, Dennis, can you make some floral arrangements? No. <laughs> I'm like, no. Um, so I, I don't do it a, a lot of work, but the reason why I won't do this full time is because, like I said, my grandparents used to own a bakery, and that's where all of us, we got babysat as kids at the bakery. That was where we all went, where we spent spring break and summertime. That was us on the counters. All my baby pictures are me with spoons, trying things. And as a young boy, working the counter and selling cookies and pastries and things like that. So I won't do a full time because my grandparents, it, it took away the joy of it. So I won't do a full time. But every time I do do it, I get really happy because it makes me feel close to them. Um, so it, it, it's always a good time. And I'm going to show you guys a little bit what this consistency looks like. You see how it, it's like almost like pancake batter. That's exactly how you want it. But you want it to be really silky and smooth. And that's the reason why I don't do the actual mixer for the pound cakes is because it's all about you the feel of the texture. So it should feel like how you are mixing pancake batter. And a lot of times when you look down at the mixer and you take it up, it hasn't gotten all the way down to the bottom yet. So you wanna make sure that's that, but you can totally do it in the mixer. You can just be sure to start off with your dry ingredients and then slowly incorporate all of the wet ingredients and make sure that they're all well combined. And in case you missed the beginning of it, do not preheat your oven for a pound cake. Do not preheat your oven for your oven for a pound cake because of the all the layers in it between the butter and the sour cream and the milk and the egg, um, you will wind up having 
like a little hairline, right, of where it's not going to be done. And so what you, and, and then, and that'll happen right at the very end, because the pound cake is not really like any traditional cake where you can really check it and be sure. It's going to be really moist, right? If you check the inside of it, it's going to be moist. That's, that's the pound cake. But- I have to tell you, Dennis, that is huh? the coolest. I said, I just have to tell you, that's the coolest part that you don't have to preheat the oven. Right, that's right. The thing you always right. forget to do and you're like, oh great, now I have to wait. Right. The fact you don't, that you have, don't to. have to preheat is right. like, Amazing. Right. You don't have to preheat it at all. You pop it in. And then the way you know it's done is after about 35 to 40 minutes, you'll slowly see it start to peel away from the edge and you'll see like a really golden crust around it. And that's when you're golden. That's when you, that's really when you have it there. Um, yeah. Now comes the fun part. You see, I just, you saw all of that just fly across the kitchen. <laughs> when I hit that in hell. Um, so, I, now when you take the, the pumpkin puree, you want to put it in and get yourself either a spatula or a butter knife, and you want to swirl it in, right? You don't want to do this part with your mixer. You After everything's done, you want to take it down and set it in front of you, and you want to slowly just begin to swirl it until you can really see the colors. This is really going to help as you begin to think about what you want it to look like when you cut into it. So if you guys can see that, you see how it's starting to swirl there? That's exactly what you want. You don't want it all in there mixed at one time. You want it slowly. You want to slowly just swirl it. And that way, when you cut into it, you'll get that nice marble effect to it. I'm just about done before I put this in the oven. Do you guys have any questions? So Dennis, you never... You, you don't continue once you have the swirl, then you stop at that point? Yes, yes. Then you get ready, you're gonna get ready to put it, go ahead and put it into your bunt pan or whatever pan of choice you're going to bake, you're going to bake it in. Okay. And again, this is the, the recipe that I have, that I, we've given you guys, this is just the base for any pound cake. You can do, um, you can do a pineapple upside down pound cake with this. You can do lemon, um, my grandmother's favorite, which was raspberry, um, where you can, you'll just swirl in some fresh raspberries and some raspberry jam, which is amazing. Um, yeah, there's, you can pretty much, you can do, you can do anything here with this. This is the base. You guys are a good group. Usually we, I get a lot of questions. A lot of you guys are, are good. So all I'm going to do now is just go ahead and take this and then just pour it into the pan. And I'll pour it high just so you guys can see. So it just comes out. That's that pancake consistency. And it's literally coming in in the way that we would want the swirl. And I'm going to cut into this other one on the counter just so that you guys can see it. And I'll try it in front of you, but I, I'm not teasing you. I'm just going to try it. <laughs> try it in front of you. And you know what? I forgot to mention that I did come in here with some allspice, some ground cinnamon, um, and a little bit of ginger uh, in here. Totally optional. <laughs> So usually sometimes my, my grandmother would add chopped pecans. She would get mad at me because she said pecan, but I say pecan. <laughs> so she would add in um, some, some chopped pecans in here or some walnuts or anything like that to give it that extra crunch. There'll be times where she would also um, take little bitty pieces of butter and put around here, but you don't need all that. You don't need all that. Mm, all of this sounds delicious. <laughs> And so if you guys can see that swirl is there and that's exactly the way it's going to bake. Give me one second. I'm going to pop this in here. Then I will turn it all on 350. Close it up and see it after about 45 minutes. And then after about 45 minutes, you will get something really, really nice moist 
right? On the outside where you have a little bit of crunch, but it is definitely really soft and gives you that bounce back that you want from it. I'm going to cut in it and try. Let me get a plate. You can barely see the swirl in this one. I mean, it's there, but you can barely see it because, oh, you can see it there because the kids, the kids don't like that much pumpkin like the rest of the house does. So you can barely see it, but you really, 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 you can see, look at that. It's just, that just glides through and it's just nice and crumbly and really, really, really soft. And that's exactly how you want it to be. Um, and if you follow these steps, it'll come out like that every single time. Don't preheat the oven. Do not rush yourselves. Leave everything out, right? Set the butter out. Um, you can set out the sour cream. If you don't want to do the eight ounces of sour cream, you can substitute <laughs> for cream cheese. Uh, yeah, there are plenty of substitutions, but now I have, oh, it's, it's, it, it is really soft. It's really, really, really soft. Oh, that's good. That is really good. You, you, you buttered the pan, right? Yes, yes. Okay, okay. Yes, and, and, and I went, I, I used nonstick spray this time, but usually when I do my pound cakes, I do oil of choice and flour to it. Um, that's typically what I would do. But this time I just did some Baker's Joy. Just sprayed it in the beginning. When we started, just did some Baker's Joy, but typically I would do some oil and a little bit of flour and shake that around and be good to go. Do you guys have any questions? I will definitely bring the second one to work tomorrow. I'll just drop it off at the Student Services Center and whatever happens, just happen. <laughs> I'll drop it off there. Um, Cause like I, we did, my family did, we did cookies. So there's like cookies and mini bread loaves and like cupcakes around this house, like everywhere. So definitely don't want anything else <laughs> in here. I'll leave this one there. But do you guys have any questions? Um, how's everyone feeling? Anyone go, going to try it or does anyone do any baking during the holidays? I think you should take a bite so we can see how delicious it is. Oh, I did. I'll take another one though, but okay, I did. Take another one. I missed it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is really good. If I had a car, I'd go and drive to your house. <laughs> <laughs> He's yeah, gonna come really, over really and really It's almost as good as your birthday cake. Yes, remember that he made your birthday cake. Remember? Yeah, it's almost as good you as your birthday cake. Yes. Yeah. It's almost as good as your birthday cake, but oh, I, I did. I we did over two hundred and thirty bunt cakes for Thanksgiving. Two hundred and thirty bunt cakes. Oh my okay, I'm trusting you. Oh my god, that is so good. Mm. All right, yay! yay. yay. <laughs> I am going to turn it over to Angela. She and I, and see if I had that that pumpkin fluff right now. That like literally on on a slice of this this pumpkin spice pound cake would be perfect. I should bring some tomorrow and drop it off on my way to my other stuff so that people can put them on top of each other. Oh, let's do it. I can't wait to taste it. It sounds amazing. All right. So welcome. Um, so hopefully everyone has their ingredients. Um, some of the stuff that I'm making will be just a little bit different. Uh, but I'm gonna just talk about the ingredients first. So we have we have this bowl that Kinsley's playing with that is powdered sugar. We just put a bunch in a bowl so that um, I'm gonna let some people in. We just got here. More people are going on it. Just wait till they, welcome. We just finished watching, as you can see, Dennis eating his, his spice pound cake. But don't worry, we're recording. So if you missed it, you guys who just came in, um, you can go back and watch it. We all wish we were there eating that with him right now. And we're about to start my pumpkin fluff. So anyone who doesn't know me, I'm Angela Bice. And yes, I'm related to the other Bices that are on campus. So if you've heard the name, that's me. This is my assistant, Kinsley, because I hurt my shoulder and I can't raise my arm very much. So she's going to help me with some stuff. Anyway, ingredients. So we have powdered sugar, 
we have eight ounces of cream cheese. And I like to use the block of cream cheese. I left it out so it'd be warm, not warm, but like soft. Um, because the other stuff in the tub is a cream cheese spread and it has different ingredients and I don't want to stray. Um, I've got my whipped topping went so brand name, not, I just, it doesn't matter, but as long as it's not low fat or fat free or light, Heck because no. that will affect the taste. <laughs> and like Dennis said, it was like, look, this is for the holidays. Go big. We need sugar. Yeah, <laughs> we need sugar. Um, there's some different spices that go in it. What I like, I'm not a big fan of ginger. So I think ginger's on the recipe, but I don't like it a whole lot. So I have cinnamon. I love me some nutmeg and I have some pumpkin pie spice. Then I have my last thing is my pumpkin. Now my pumpkin looks different than probably what you guys have or what you guys would have. I make my own pumpkin puree. So it's just in a little container that I had around the house. Um, it's a little thinner than pumpkin puree you would get at um, the store in a can, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. It's just, I've been making my own puree since I was a little girl with my mom. So it's right here, easily. So that, and then we have, you know, our measuring spoons, measuring cups. I brought a sifter, but I don't think I'm going to use it because it's loud and annoying. So unless Kinsley just really wants to. Wait, how do you? You just squeeze it. Yeah. Oh. There you go. Sifter. All right, so let's get started. So the first thing I need, Kinsley, mm -hmm. is I need one and one third cups of the powdered sugar in here. In fact, let's take this, and you need a mixer. You don't have to have a stand mixer. That's just what we have right now. You can use a hand mixer. If you really want to, you can use a whisk, but then your arm will fall off. Mm -hmm. So I need one of these and then one of these. So three of these? <laughs> she's like all of it so let me just yeah. just even it off for you there we go perfect so carefully and then the little one oh not Wait. the big one <laughs> she's gonna make it really sweet and then the little one you got it yeah oh dipped a little it's okay you sure yeah less sugar i don't like it all oh no here we go i'll help you out there we go, a little more. Okay. All right, so we're good here. All done with the cups. And then we're going to blend the cream cheese in with that powdered sugar. Now, if you want, you can do the cream cheese first and then put the powdered sugar on top. It, it really doesn't matter. But as long as you're, oh, oh, it's just, it's just curious. Okay. Um, as long as you have had your, Cream cheese out for a little bit so it's softened because otherwise it, you get chunks of cream cheese, which isn't bad if you like cream cheese. Okay. So I'm just like cream cheese bagel, <laughs> like cream cheese bagel. Yes, I'm gonna put this in. I don't know if everyone can okay. see the bowl. They have the speaker view. Hmm? In case they have the speaker view, they can see um, the gallery and they can see the other angle. Um, I don't know if you guys noticed, there's one, there's two, two camera angles, so you can see the bowl and you can see me. So if you need to see up close. Okay, so I'm just gonna move this out of the way so we don't get sprayed. I'm gonna put this on. See, like even that's a little tender. Can you pull that for me so I can? No, you have to pull oh. this lever. There we go. And you see that little guard over there, that plastic thing? Yeah. That's gonna keep the powdered sugar from spraying us. Have a little plastic thing. Okay. Yes. Do we have a question? What is going on? Okay, nothing. All right, so I'm going to get this started. It's not too loud. And you just want this to be really softened and creamy. So I might have to stop it, get it off of the mixer. Whip, whisk mixer a little bit. So you can see it's kind of all stuck on the whisk mixer. I'm gonna have to. Oh my god! Oh goodness! Lick it, baby. It's good. <laughs> There's your snow. So, and I will have to say this is not a. It's not doing anything. <laughs> not a mix. Ah! Oh! Mixer I'm used to. This is what happens in my kitchen. Is fun things. Tell me to get yeah. it on the whisk. Look, grow. No, it's fun. 
this is when I panic. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not panic. It'll eventually work out. And guess what? We have enough ingredients. If I mess up, I can start over. And then Kinsley can have sugary cream cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Angela comes prepared, she said. <laughs> That's right. I have more. Okay. So I think that I got a little excited. I usually do cream the cream cheese first, but it really isn't. It doesn't matter. It just says cream them together. So it's and you said the cream cheese was room temp. Say it again. Cream cheese is, is it, it's at room temp. Yes. It goes in? Okay. Yes. Otherwise, you end up with chunky dip, which you know, if you like cream cheese, this is a bad thing. <laughs> and you can see why I put this up here. Otherwise, it'd be even messier. All right, go ahead and get the lunch one. Let's start to get there. It's like sweet cream cheese. Oh, all right, so Kinsley, I'm going to, thank you. What I need you to do is kind of scrape the bowl a little bit while I get this out of your way. Off the side. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah off the sides and the bottom. The bottom, because there's oh. like really scooped right sugar. Mm -hmm. You'll see powdered sugar at the bottom. You want to make sure you get it all incorporated because then you'll get like, oh, I have a dry spot or I have a, oh, yeah. yeah, you see the powdered sugar down there that didn't get mixed? Oh, yeah. look at that. Zoom in, Christina. She is. <laughs> okay. So that way you get it all incorporated. Yeah. I promise it's easy. This is probably the hardest part. Again, if it's lumpy, if it's weird, it's okay. It still tastes amazing. It's sugar and cream cheese. Where can you go wrong? You got it? Yeah. Okay, so let me see that real quick. Once you're done. Thank you, my dear. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> when it's done, we will let you. And then that way, Estella will be like, okay, good. You you didn't forget to lick stuff. She she mentioned that to you, Dennis. You, you forgot to lick the whisk. So when they say cream cheese icing on stuff, is that exactly what this is? It is similar, yeah. Uh -huh. Cream cheese icing is a, is gonna be um, cream mm -hmm. cheese and powdered sugar. I believe there's butter, but I don't know. Again, ask Dennis. <laughs> All right, here we go. Just do one last thing before we start adding my other ingredients. So don't do it until I have a thing on. Thank you. I know. I know. Here. Okay, do the thing. There we go. Go ahead. Oh, you can't. I forgot. We don't have to worry about the powder flying anywhere this time. Any anything? No, do a little like hot, ah, so we don't have to wait around too long. There we go. Big day out. All right. It's been a flower. Huh? It looks like a flower. It looks like a flower. Do you want to lift up so that she can show what it looks like? It's all like really creamy and I want to eat it. <laughs> so next is the pumpkin. Now, your pumpkin, like I said, is going to be thicker um, consistency than mine because mine is homemade. And if you want to know how to make your own pumpkin puree, it's it's hard work. But I'll tell you right now, it's very cathartic because you're like, I made this. And then you can use any simple recipe and you put your pumpkin in and it's like, this is amazing. And you're like, yeah, it's just from a box, but I use my own pumpkin. So it tastes, you know, great. Like I make pumpkin pie from whatever recipe is on the condensed milk. And people are like, oh my gosh, she's good. Like, the recipe is just this. So mine is a little watery comparatively, but again, it's because I made my own. So mango I'm going to put in mine. It looks like mango just a little bit, but it's kind of chunky. Oh, hold on. I gotta scrape the rest out. Do you wanna do that for me? Yeah. Yeah, she's gonna scrape the rest out of here. Careful, don't let it fall on the cabinet. And I just, I think it calls for two thirds of a cup 
But again, like, like Dennis said, his mom be like, whatever's gonna flavor the cake today is what we're gonna use. If you like more pumpkin, put in more pumpkin. You know, it's not gonna mess anything up. It's pretty foolproof. Got it? Depends on getting everything out. Well, it's important. <laughs> we like pumpkin here, okay? Yes. All right. Good job. Yeah, I can put that. Oh, no. We're going to put in the season, the, the spices. So I don't remember how much it asks for, and I don't have it in front of me, but we're going to go with a half a teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. You can, it doesn't have to be flat. You can just, all right. We're going to go with a half a teaspoon of I like nutmeg, so I'm gonna put in some nutmeg. I love it. And then just a little bit, I don't even think we need that. Sprinkle some cinnamon in there. He's in it again. <laughs> yeah, go for it, you can do a little more. All right, awesome. The pumpkin pie spice has it. But again, if you really like ginger, put more ginger in it. I love nutmeg, so I'm like, I'm adding this to my recipe. Um, if you really like allspice, go for it. Uh, those are typically the, the spices that you use with um, things like pumpkin uh, pie, pumpkin bread, pumpkin fluff. All right, so we need to put this down, Kinsley. Thank you, dear. I'm going to go real slow. No, because it's hot. It's not like the powdered sugar. So you want to mix this until it's just incorporated, you know. You don't see a bunch of white lumps. You want to get that kind of I don't know, you know, that pumpkin color. <laughs> Was my hand right in front of me? See, and mine is a lot waterier, but it's okay because you're going to chill it. All right, so can we? Yes. I need you to scrape again the bowl. You just be careful around the whisk. Yep, there's big yeah, see, there's clumps of the cream cheese, so you want to get rid of those. But so if you're baking along, yeah, the your your pumpkin will make it a lot thicker than mine. I'm just picky. I won't buy those cans. We've been doing the pumpkin puree since I was little. I'm stubborn. You know, following mom's recipes with everything. Got to use that that pumpkin puree that I make. And usually it's not as watery, but this year that's just Watery. Fine. Got it? We're pretty scraped off. I can do it again. Pretty scraped. All right. Got some on your hands. Yeah. You need to take yeah. a towel. Yeah. Thank you. Mom to the rescue with her napkin. Yeah, this yeah. isn't a non messy thing. You might be messy making this. That's fine. Yeah. All right. Like messes. All right. Here. Oh, can you pull the lever? Thank you, my dear. Oh, there we go. Incorporated there. Sorry. Yeah, now I can see it's kind of smooth. I don't know if you guys can hear me okay, but it's getting smooth, so I can see it's starting to be ready. Can you pull the lever for me real okay? quick? Nope, got it? Okay, cool. I'm not ending up with any real big chunks at the bottom. Let's see, maybe one more. Oh no, that's just the bottom of the bowl. All right, so Kinsley, are you ready for the most fun part? Yes. All right, so if anyone has seen Schitt's Creek, when they say fold in the cheese, what do you mean fold in the cheese? You know, fold it, okay, <laughs> fold in the cheese. So we're going to fold in, I'm gonna throw this in the sink if that's okay. Oh, someone just got there. So I believe it says one and a half cups or one and a quarter cup something. I just used the whole tub because <laughs> Why not? Oh, yeah. So I'm gonna put this all in, but you want to, I'll show you. So you wanna fold it in gently. That just means you're not gonna whisk. So you're just gonna mix it in once you get it in, okay? So I'm gonna do the first one, then I'm gonna let you do the rest. Sound good so you can see what it looks like. 
I don't just want to go like that. So, see, I have some in. You want to go like this. Oh, and like, like not. You're not exactly <laughs> like not. <laughs> okay. All right, Kinsley. We're all trusting you mm -hmm. to fold the in thing. the whole thing, girl. Yeah. Just don't plop it. Moira is counting on you. <laughs> Moira. <laughs> Moira, yes, from like that. That's great. Yeah, but you can be like more because we do want to get it mixed. Yeah, today. you're doing the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> With that? Oh, yeah, so put more in, go. Big okay. scoops. Yeah. Yeah, because we got to do a whole tub. It's, it's kind of making up for my liquidy pumpkin, see? So it all works out. And this is a recipe that I played with for a while because I knew that I wanted to use my pumpkin and I was like, it's gonna be different. So, you know, if you go, oh, well, I really like this or I like this, play with it. It's, it's not an expensive recipe, <laughs> you know, so. This is, it smells good. You will get to keep it if you like. Oh, I forgot to bring tubs. So, so after we incorporate all of this and fold in the whipped cream, um, you just put it in the fridge, chill for a minimum of 30 minutes. I like to just let it chill overnight. I usually make it the day before and that way I can do all my dishes and everything. And then the next day, it's like all incorporated together and tastes amazing. So wait, is that like that's what it is? So the end product, so while well, she's it. still, is you know pumpkin fluff. That's why we call it that. And what we like to eat it with, and we have lots of people to taste test. Is um, Christine is going to show you. We've got some um, cinnamon sugar. We're going to try to a little bit more. Yeah. There we go. Nope, almost there. Here, I can move this way. There we go. So some cinnamon sugar pita chips. I have some ginger snaps and some fruit, some apples, pears, um, whatever kind of fruit you may like to put in it. So uh, just dip and let the chip break because that's helpful. And there you go. What do you think? <laughs> I broke Kinsley. Can I try it with the apple? You want to try it with the apple? Is it okay if I pick it up for you? So here we go. <laughs> I think her face says it all. I'm going to set this right here for you, okay? You keep folding in the, the stuff. So that is um, my Vice Pumpkin Fluff. Um, it, again, the ginger snaps are really good. I like it with the ginger snaps. Um, unfortunately, since Dennis and I aren't in the same kitchen together, this would be amazing on the pumpkin spice pound cake. Oh. I know um, at my house, when people get the uh, pumpkin pie during the holidays, they put this on the pumpkin pie and it's just like, you know, this is good. I'm just going <laughs> to eat this for the rest of forever. So, so there you go. There's our pumpkin spice with biddle and vice. <laughs> biddle and vice. Got a label somewhere. I'm loving it. <laughs> right. Does anyone have any questions? Oh, I know what I was going to say. I know what I'm going to say. <laughs> <laughs> These are the um, they're the Stacy's pita chips. They're the sh cinnamon sugar um, pita chips. They're not always Sorry. easy to find, <laughs> but when you do, then you know. <laughs> when you get them, you're like, oh. I need these all the time. It's a problem at my house because I'll eat them all. So that is, that is, how, oh my gosh, I want some of that cake now. Look at Kinsley, she's going to town. If you guys want some, feel free. I know, I'm like, I'm like Dennis. I'm, I'm eating more cake. <laughs> I'm like, I'm eating more cake. I can see the kids looking at me like, no cake before dinner, dad. <laughs> it's okay, we're just trying. We're like, Cake is dinner today. <laughs> well, thank you all so much for coming. We'll have to do this again sometime. Yeah. Like Dennis said, in a location where we're all together so we can eat each other's wares. Mm -hmm. But oh, that's good. Any anything else anybody want to share? Maybe some some things that you guys make at your family. <laughs> 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 
Okay. You can take it out of everyone on here, I see. Does anyone else do any baking for or for the holidays, or do you bake your oh, own? Sure. Do you bake birthday cakes or anything like that? All right. There's no more apples. Right, but, okay, <laughs> there's well. One right there. That means that, that the, the pumpkin fluff song is going to dry apples. You're, you're out of things on that little platter. Yep, we're running <laughs> out of stuff on the platter. Exactly. I snapped in half. I know I saw you. All right, you guys. Well, if that's all, um, again, if you see us around campus, feel free to ask us anything about cooking, baking, food in general. I like to talk about food. <laughs> so um, I want to see some thumbs up. Do we have some? You guys think this is something you'd like to at least have? Thumbs up. Yeah, Janice, have having a good it. Time. <laughs> yeah, did you guys enjoy this? Is something we could do in the future? You might enjoy seeing these in the future. It's definitely more interactive too, and we can bring some some SMC aprons and really get in there and do it together. Oh, that thank nice. you, Paige. That sounds amazing. She's the bake more is one of her New Year's resolutions. I love it. Thank you, Deborah. That's a great idea, Deborah. <laughs> maybe we do it maybe like every couple months or something. We'll yeah. do another mm -hmm. that'd be good. That would be fun. And it's not like like a I think it's a great team building activity too, though, right? And it's not expensive. It was like yeah, mm -hmm. if, yeah. If we can do this, but you can get your departments together, bring your teams together, mm -hmm. and it's a great team building because everyone has a piece in it, right? I and had a good to see how it all turns out. <laughs> so it's actually something that's really, really great to do with your own departments um, as well. We could have an unofficial, maybe drink mixing one. I don't know. <laughs> I, I love it. <laughs> I have actually done that. I've done a wine tasting party online before, so it was really fun. I won't be in that one. No, you that would be cool. <laughs> no kids with the now. All I right, you guys. Good. Well, if nobody has any more questions, how do I access the recording? Because I got to the Zoom a little late. We'll we're post it. We're gonna post it. Um, I'm sure it'll be with the recipes. That way, if you do want to follow along, we'll make sure that that gets posted. If not tomorrow, early next week, it'll be up for sure. Yeah. Don't forget fuel for finals is yes. next week. So if you haven't signed up to help us serve <laughs> our students, please do. I'll be sending out the link again tomorrow. You're yeah. very welcome, um, Robert. So thank you guys so much. Take care. Have a wonderful thank weekend. Thank you, Dennis. Thank you, Anna. You're welcome. Happy, holidays. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Bye. Bye, Bye. Bye everyone. Oh. All right, I'm just going to end. I was just waiting.